That is unfortunately true. And same with Diamond and Pearl. We can only expect to see remakes in 2016. Which Wait, they came out in 2006? Yeah. But does Diamond and Pearl really need a remake? No, yes. They do. They do. They do for the 10th new DS system that comes out. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to have to stop you right there. Just because Diamond and Pearl on their own sucked. Platinum was the reason why 4th Gen was so good. You know what? We can argue about this all day. I liked Diamond and fucking Pearl before Platinum. We can argue all day. Bumble, was Diamond your first game you ever played that was Pokemon? No, it was not my first Pokemon game I ever played. Diamond was the first Pokemon game that got me back into liking Pokemon. Ah. As for me, I had given up after Emerald, and then I completely ignored Diamond and Pearl, but when I heard about Platinum, and that was about the time I... Question, you, say, you say you completely ignored Diamond and Pearl, but when you heard about Platinum, you got it. I got Platinum, yes. Have you played Diamond and Pearl? Yes, on Emulator. No. I'm telling you. Compared to Platinum, no, I didn't. I'm, I'm telling you, if you would have played them before <sighs> Platinum, you would have liked them. Now, now, Yuki, don't get your panties in the bunch. We still haven't gotten to the main topic at hand yet. I'm not a piss off, Yuki. Jodo sucks. <laughs> 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 you really want to get kicked out of this place? <laughs> Yeah, Pika, you're not, you're not only pissing off Yuki, you're pissing off Bumble and me. Ashley doesn't give a fuck because she doesn't care about Pokemon, but still. You say Johto sucks, you start a shitstorm, okay? <laughs> no, I'm not, I like Johto. I, I like Johto. I've had this argument with seven people this week who <laughs> said that Johto suck. I've had this argument all week and I'm not afraid to have it again. <laughs> How the fuck were you having an argument with this about that seven different times in a week? Did, did some people said that Johto sucked ass. Wait, was it like one person a day, or...? Yeah, it was like one person a day. And it was just like, uh... Oh, and you can't want to hear something that really pissed me off? Uh, somebody said that... Uh, I was watching a video, and he was like... Th these games are gonna be awesome because they're the first Pokemon game to ever be a sequel. Uh... No. Johto. <laughs> yeah, really. Like, come on. Get your it, it may have... It, like, he's sitting there, like, the dude obviously didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. Cause he's sitting there showing the cover for the 15th Pokemon movie that's got, like, Kyren and, uh, Caladio, the water pony thing. Right. I do have one. Go on. Go on, Pika. No one really cares about the fifth gen, to be honest with the name. Well, I do. Because if you're going to sit there, at first you're going to say this is the only Pokemon game to be a sequel. And then you're going to sit there and say that. Then you're going to sit there and get the Pokemon's name wrong. And it's not like he ever corrected himself. He said it like 17 times. He never corrected himself even once. But to the people who are saying Johto sucks, if he's talking about the original games, then I'll take offense. But if he's talking about Heart Gold and Soul Silver, compared, whoa, 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 compared, no, 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 listen, listen. Compared to the original Gold and Silver, they are not as good. But compared to compared to fifth gen, 
Hark on Soul Silver is amazing. I never said crystal. I only said gold and silver. I'm saying hard gold and soul silver are better than original gold and silver. I said not better than crystal. Crystal was a lot more fun than the original games and the remakes. Yes, I will agree with you on that one. But as I said, compared to fifth gen, hard gold and soul silver was amazing. But the Maybe it's just nostalgia talking, but I'll take the original gold and silver crystal over heart gold so silver any day. Alright. The number one thing I compliment on Johto is the music, basically. It has one of the best tracks in the Pokemon history. The Champion Lance theme? Yeah. Every, every, every music track in Johto is great. Like, I don't know. That's the number one thing I can make a myth about Johto. I hate how everybody is saying that Black and White have the best story of any Pokemon. Except the originals. Broken down how? This is true. Which is probably why people, myself included, will say that Black and White had the best story. Because there's more information in it. Because there are more interesting characters in it compared to the other games. In terms of the evil organization. Although... <laughs> this is true. How are you just gonna name somebody in? Like, that's how you know they're running out of fucking ideas. Yeah, just name him in. Just what they couldn't in. say, they couldn't say, nigger. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Nintendo isn't Pika. <laughs> oh, we just started this video and we're already way off topic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, the, the conversation was so good, I didn't want to ruin it. <laughs> so I just let this one run its course, and now after a however many minute distraction, we are PCN. And we have some very sad news to share. Wait, let me do it. Go for it. <laughs> Shut up, Pika. You'll, you'll, you'll have your turn to talk after the grown-ups talk. Okay, buddy? Yes. Because Anne got away with one of the legendaries. And, uh, but Anne didn't really 
get away, kind of. You N didn't, like, N wasn't really the evil one, it was Getsis. Okay, well, how about Getsis ends up with the legendary that N called? How the fuck would that work? Either that or N, I think we well, have to stop this one. Well, Getsis controlled N pretty much. Um, yeah. Or, or, you know, the thing that we discussed, Getsis somehow gets a hold of Genesis. Or he gets a hold of Kyurem. That's that would be a good one. Hmm. And you have to team up with N. That'd be awesome. Team up with N, Sharon, and that lazy bitch who does nothing. Okay, okay. Sharon and Bianca, let's just say this. Take them out of the fucking game. <laughs> Somebody made an interesting point. What if he take over as Sharon or Bianca? Like if you could be Sharon or Bianca. And, and then, and then the story would play out from their perspective and not yours, right. except that you, you would, you know, you would end up. That might be interesting. I won't lie. I, I wouldn't want to play as Sharon or in. I hate I'm Sharon or uh, Bianca. I hated both of them. No, but I mean, but we mean in in terms of. Uh, I don't know. Silver was pretty competent. No, Silver, Silver's team wasn't balanced. Silver wasn't competent. Silver was just a jackass. <laughs> yeah, and it, it just, he wasn't balanced enough. Yeah, Actually, I will give you that. Not just one million dollars. One million polka dollars. The amount of money that you can't even get in the game. <laughs> You're... You're one dollar away from getting one million polka dollars, if I'm correct. Either that or it was nine, uh, ninety-nine thousand is the max. No, you're one dollar away because you max out at nine, 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 nine. Alright. Or nine, 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 and then another dollar would put you at the million, but you don't get it because be you're not swag I, enough. I'd be pissed if I got a million dollars and Barry showed up and was like, give me my money. <laughs> <laughs> and all that money. Yeah, that you battle him, you beat him, and then you give him the money. Your character gives him the money out of pity. Be like, "Fuck you! I just whooped your ass. Do you not take my money?" In case you're wondering, Sora, what you're walking into, we are discussing the fact that Nintendo has announced that they are going to do Pokemon Black and White Two. I already told Sora, actually. Okay. It is. Like, uh, come on, and all these people talking about, yeah, they're introducing fusion to the Pokemon game. That, what? That, that would be the thing. No, they're not. They're not. Have you seen the cover Pokemon for Black and White 2? Dude, no. I think the Zekrom, the Zekrom, uh, Tyrant was way more badass. I don't know, but they both still be Have you seen the cover Pokemon? No. Black 2. Look no. them up. It's basically, basically for White, it's a fusion of Reshiram and Kyurem. And for black, it's a fusion of Sekram and Kyurem. Yeah, People and it's, 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 it's not it's it's black and black and fresh rams and white. It's so fucked yeah. up. Like, every, everybody's like thinking now, they're introducing fusion to Pokemon. That's so awesome. That would, be the thing, that would be the thing that sealed Pokemon away from me forever. I would never play another Pokemon game again. I think, I think in a limited, in a limited, it, like, limited effect on the game, it would be okay, like, certain Pokemon can be used. I don't want, like, Charizard last toys running around, but, like, you know, certain legendaries compatible, yeah, that would be okay with me, honestly. Uh, I, I wouldn't like it, because I, I really don't think it's fusions, I just think it's fucking different forms of Kyurem, like, you give them like, the items. You two, yeah. Like, you two and you fuse to, to complete Mew. You mean complete Mewtwo? Yeah, sorry, I said that wrong. To complete Mewtwo. Like, Mew gets fused with Mewtwo. But how the fuck would that work? Mewtwo. Two Pokemon with that armor fuse get armor. <laughs> I think they just had unique abilities, but that was it. Because if they had their own items, I could see Kyurem being able to, like, change forms depending 
out which one of those items he held. Well, I think they would do some Giratina shit on us. Yeah, I mean, you know, I wish... although the Giratina thing was pretty cool because it made Giratina look so much better than his original form. Well, but... I mean, the Scarecrow Pirate, I love it. I like that sign. I'm definitely going to be playing black just to get it. But... Exactly. I played white for Zekrom, and now I'm going to be playing black for Zekrom. In my opinion, Zekrom is way more uh, well-designed than Restrial. Yeah, he's all the pieces of a badass Pokemon. I like Zekrom. Yeah. I have a problem with Zekrom. That was my favorite okay. part of it, Jen, was Sekrom. And Tarak. Okay, okay. You guys know Victini's uh, signature move V create? Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, in Japan, they're having the Rayquaza event where Rayquaza is getting V create. What? Yeah. Why? Fuck that it's shit. Of a set nature, so it can be any nature ever. Fuck that shit. That's a little off topic, but yeah, I can't argue. No, that's on top of it because that, because that's another fucking stupid thing Nintendo's doing. Hey, come on. Okay, first you give Victini like the most overpowered moveset known to man. And now you're gonna give fucking And make it you you of all tiers. Uh, yeah, but if you give it now you're to Rayquaza, the fucking move that's just like so OP. Yeah, but Rayquaza's already banned, that doesn't really change anything no. really. Does not deserve it. Dragon dancing V create Rayquaza. Imagine it. Ah! Now, now we can use God Pokemon. I would like that. Pika, yeah, Rayqua Rayquaza. Pika, you just agree with everything that Nintendo does now. <laughs> no, I'm still agreeing with Rayquaza because I, I like that. It's one of my all time. I like Rayquaza too, but does he deserve V create? I don't think so. He doesn't. Does Victini deserve V create? <laughs> Does the move we create even deserve to be around with how overpowered it is? I mean, how much uh, base power does it have? What is it, like 100 and... base power, 100 accuracy, and the only downfall is your defense, special defense, and speed get dropped after using it. But if you're using it on a trick room team, it doesn't even fucking matter. That's true. Although you would still need a scarf. Not really. No, actually no, a lagging tail. Because what about the Pokemon that are basically walls? Uh, that's why you run a fucking Trick Room Sun team. Hmm. Scarf isn't gonna help you against the wall anyway. Scarf's just gonna cripple you against the wall. Yeah. And Laggy Tail doesn't do anything but make you slower. That's true. Wait, do we all agree that Slacking's overpowered? What? Slacking? Are you fucking yeah. high? Slacking. Slacking would be overpowered if he didn't have Truant. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that his general yeah. ability? Oh, wait, yeah, no, I know. I, I thought you were talking about Slowking. I was like, what the fuck? Well, why Slowking? <laughs> oh, no. Slowking is OP. <laughs> How the fuck is Slowking OP? <laughs> I'll give you that. Let's see. What's uh? What's another thing that's OP? Well, yes. Okay. Pika slacking would be OP if not for Truant. If he didn't have Truant, he would be like super OU, maybe even Uber. He would be Uber. He would be like staying there sometimes. Cause like it said that he has beyond legendary stats. Like he does. His stats all around the board are very good, including his attack and speed. The speed, I think, maxes out at, like, 322, but that doesn't even really matter when you're running, like, a base 160 fucking attack stat. Yeah. Three? I guess not, uh, does it have a G-more ability, or does it? 
I don't think it does. No, they're uh, not going to take true and Slack King or stats would be too high. Uh, <laughs> Slack King works best in 5th gen wifi, uh, double battles. Just hit a fucking Cathagrius and get mummy and then just continue to fuck shit up. I was about to say, they, what... They, uh, really the, the only way to not make... Uh, Slack King overpowered in Dreamworld was to give him the Dreamworld ability slow start. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that. I guess slow start? No, I'm saying if they make his no, Dreamworld slow ability start, slow start. Not for the first five turns. He can tank a hit. He can tank a hit and then he has all that power to do it. Well, the same can be said about Reggie Gigas because Reggie Gigas has slow start yet his defensive and HP stats are fucking off the charts. Yeah, but his attack stats aren't what Slack King Exactly. Uh, his attack stats are pretty much up there with slacking. I'm yeah. pretty sure slacking has higher attack. I'm pretty sure that Reggie Gigas is running a base of 160 attack. Let's find out. I'm about to see, because I know slacking for sure is running 160. One thing I know, Reggie like, Gigas is attack. running... Reggie Gigas is running a base 160 attack. What about slacking? What's slacking? Slackings, slackings is the exact same, 160, so they both max out at 460 attack. Shit. Nice. Only thing about slacking, actually no, slacking, Regigigas may be faster than slacking. Really? Slacking, okay, Regigigas is, uh, nope, they, t they both, uh, okay, they both max out at 460 attack and 328 speed. Only thing about only thing that makes Reggie Gigas better is his HP and his actually no his defense is maybe the only thing better. Cause fuck, Slacking's running a base 150 HP stat. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only thing it sucks in is special defense. If you could even say it sucks in that. <laughs> Yeah. But still, Reggie Gigas is a decent law, even with slow start. And then after that slow start is gone, he basically starts fucking shit up. I don't know, I just... I, I just think that he has yeah. enough to it. That's my honest opinion. It has I, I think that too. He, he needs it. If not, he will be overpowered. As all I know. I mean, you can put a choice scarf on him, and he'll still be overpowered at the moment, because with Truant, you can still switch out and shit. Actually, I will I will give you that. That is true. If you use, if you use Giga Impact, does Truant still take effect? Uh, Truant won't take effect. Uh, one thing I remember, and then you won't be able to switch out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you use Giga Impact, and then... You miss a turn, you have to miss another turn after that? No. No, because, uh, because, uh, it counts as a but, be yeah. but, yeah, but because you can't switch because of Giga Impact, if you kill something, something else will come in. You can't do anything for an entire turn, and you'll basically get wrecked. Exactly. Uh, uh, there's not really many Pokemon that can wreck a slacking. Uh, a, a high-powered special attacker? Or just a high-powered physical fighting, well, something with a fighting type attack? I'm just trying to think. Be able to do it. Like, if I'm right, Slacking, uh, without any HP investment whatsoever, just giving him jolly speed and attack, his HP will be somewhere around, like, 440-something. Damn. His okay, HP without... H without any EVs invested will be... Where is it? I was just there. 441 without any investment. 504 with... Max investment. The max you can put in it? Yep. 441 minimum. 504 max. Um, but how the fuck did we get on the topic of slacking? Because... <laughs> <we're>, <laughs> no, because we were talking about overpowered Pokemon because of Victini's V-Create. Like, Rayquaza getting V-Create is overpowered. No, 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 I was, I was saying that the only way for Slack King to be over, or to be not overpowered if he has a Dream World ability 
would be to make it slow start. Because it'll still fuck up his attack for five turns and his speed. See, but Truant isn't as bad as slow start. I think I would keep Truant over slow start any day. Yeah, me too, but I'm just saying. Actually, Registeel does that better. I mean, not Registeel, Regigigas. Yeah, Regigigas can basically... My Regigigas used to be just a wall, and he had, like, Confuse... Or he was the typical Regigigas fucking wall, and set Confuse Ray, Substitute, Thunder Wave, and Headbutt. But after those five turns were up, his Headbutt, with no investment whatsoever, hit your ass pretty fucking hard. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, oh, Yuki. I uh, body slam's kind of pointless when you're using Thunder Wave. No, he was saying that body slam would be better than headbutt, but I'm like. Fuck you. But you want to know what the chances of getting six focus blasts in a row is? You got a 0.5% chance to do that. Heh. <laughs> the same percentage that's a better chance. That's, that, wait, wait, wait. That's, a, that's the same chance has of Yuki uh, hitting anyone's mom. 0.5%. <laughs> You have a polytoad, your polytoad sucks because it doesn't have drizzle. Yeah. be a redneck if you're fucking stupid and not ban Drizzle Polytoad and Drought Nine Tails. Okay, this is what I, this is, I would agree with Smogan doing this. Ban Tyranitar, ban Hippodon, ban, uh, whatever the fuck Hippodon's pre-evolution is. Hippopotas. Yeah, Hippopotas. And, and ban Drizzle. A.K.A. Yuki. And ban Drought Nine Tails. Obama Snow and Snover? They go down to a fire punch. Yeah. Uh, they got the weakest weather of all time. You can keep them there. <laughs> you want to bitch about Smogan banning all these things? Here's something. Smog say Smogan lets everything be used for about five months. Just let everything go. And then, after that five months is up and everybody is sick and tired, Smogan bans everything back, but they ban all weather starters too. I think everybody would just be glad that they banned everything back, and they wouldn't give a fuck that they banned weather. Hmm. Mm. I don't like breaking the rules. See, I have nothing against weather. I have th I have something against perma weather. Yeah. yeah. I have something against the fact that people use the same damn team every time. Well, yeah, that's. That's what it is. As soon as, like, everybody realized all these Pokemon are now coming in that benefit from all this weather, all these Pokemon are getting fucking things that start perma weather. let's just start Weather Wars and everybody has the exact same team. Like, if you if you say I'm using a rain team, I can pretty much guess everything that's going to be on your rain team. Exactly. Yep. Same with a sand team. Same with the sun team. You can pretty much guess every fucking thing that's going to be on that team. Except the Hail Team, because Hail Teams, yeah, hail though team is interesting, hail. are suck. Hail. What the hell, man? It's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> I had a Hail Team once. I had a Hail Team too, and it sucked ass. <laughs> the only good thing 
good thing on it was a fucking choice scarfed, uh, I, I don't know if it was choice scarfed or choice specs, uh, Caillou Run with Blizzard. Heh. <laughs> I didn't look at forfeit, Jen. Uh, I never used, yeah, I never used fucking, yeah, I, I never used it before then. Yeah, I had a choice scarf Caillou Ren, because it's fucking special attacks base 130. Nothing likes getting a stat. Nothing likes getting hit by a fucking stab blizzard. I always liked the, I always liked the idea of an ice dragon type, and then when I finally saw one, I was like, "What the fuck is this piece of shit?" Does it speak to so many things? Except I ice for some reason. Decent one. Like I just want a Pokemon that's decent. Okay, here's something. Do you think that Caillou Rem is worthy of its own games? Basically, yeah. I don't. Well, I mean, with the form of yeah. right, it's probably going to get a stat boost. Yeah, true, and everybody, uh, people are saying they think it's going to be like Ice Electric for the Zekrom and Ice Fire for the rest of said this is going to be the introduction of three types Pokemon. I don't think so. Uh, three types is kind of overdoing it. Four types if you count Big T. And then you count the two new forms. It would be, uh, it would be, uh... Actually, this no, it, it would... a lot of new forms. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's going to introduce tri-typing. Like, it's going to be an ice dragon, ice dragon electric type. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking. I was, like, fire and dragon, it's already been done. Ice and dragon's already been done. Electric and dragon's already been done. And I wouldn't be satisfied with fire, uh, ice, and electric ice. They both have so many weaknesses. Like, if I'm right, isn't uh, do, it doesn't I, isn't uh, rock super effective against ice? Yes, it is. If it was, yeah, if it was fire ice, that restaurant form would take half damage coming in on rocks. Yep. Just making it another fucking useless Pokemon that nobody would use. What I love is that problem with dark and shiny. Uh. So Depends on what the types are. Uh, well, it would have, I, I think it would be fucking fire, electric, and, uh, well, fire, well, fire, dragon, ice, and... Fire, dragon, dragon electric. Ice, electric. The fire it's one would be so weak, weak and the electric they one... They in there like, yeah, the restaurant form is grass, water, and rock. Like, what? <laughs> no, it's <laughs> Water and rock, go surf! See, that's well, I don't get how that would work, because it's got the grass typing. Would it be like the two types overweigh the one, and it would it, it would be super effective, or would it still be neutral, because it has the grass typing? In Wait, you know, you know why it would have the grass typing? Because Arceus just got lazy and decided to not give a fuck anymore. I, I still don't agree with Arceus being... I don't agree with Arceus being... <laughs> no, I don't either. Well, I neither do I, but... <laughs> That's what all the kitties are gonna want to believe. Come on, no one remembers Mew is the one that created it all. They say that. <laughs> but then they say Arceus is the god of Pokemon, so that makes you think. Well, did Arceus create Mew and then Mew created more, or did Arceus create Mew and he didn't like what he didn't like Mew, so he decided to just make shit tons more? Or maybe Mew and Arceus are like. In the marriage relationship. Shut up, Pika. <laughs> no one cares. No, okay, that makes a new question. Which one's the girl? Arceus, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I, I really say me. So then that begs another question. How big is Arceus' dick? <laughs> um, 6.7 inches in camera. For something as big as Arceus, 6.7 inches is very disappointing. <laughs> 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 now, if that was Mew you were talking about, we'd all be impressed, but alas. Okay, nobody probably thought of this when Black and White came out, but I was greatly disappointed at this. You know how you can weigh the Pokemon? I, I'm kind of disappointed them. that the Black and White scale took out the thing where you was on one side of the scale and the Pokemon. Oh, yeah, was on yeah, the I know. Side. I know. Yeah, I like that. And if you put, like, Dialga on the other side of the scale, like, you shut up in the air. Yeah. yeah. You, like, never came down. <laughs> I know, that was fucking awesome. 
No, it's probably coming back in 7th gen, don't worry. 7th gen, oh, yeah. yeah, somebody asked the stupidest fucking question last night. They were like, wait, it's not black and white too? Is this the, is this the uh, introduction of 6th gen? Which year they went? La 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 la. year they realized, okay, everybody fucking hates 5th gen. Let's just throw another gen out there and see if they like this one. Let's just name it part two of the first two. <laughs> the only reason why people hate fifth gen is because most of the like Pokemon were like drawings of fan so all of the Pokemon yeah. fan art. Yeah. That's the main thing. Like, you know the ice cream Pokemon? What the fuck, man? Thanks a lot to the jackass from America who made that Pokemon and just hyped up the stereotype that we're all fat ass motherfuckers. Thank you. Thank you. You get you get chosen to make any Pokemon you want, and you make an ice cream Pokemon. Fuck you and giving us the word and like just hyping up the stereotype that we're fat asses and all we think about is food. <laughs> I met a girl that likes a lot. Of isn't food. isn't that true though? Yeah, because I'm sitting here bathing in a tub of gravy and I'm washing. <laughs> <laughs> badass Bumble, badass. <laughs> Of course you do, dear. Of course you do. I'm bathing in maple cheese. There's shit on the ass. He's Japanese. He's Canadian, so he's Canadian. I'm gonna see you, you bastard. I like little nuggets. Yeah, their McDonald's don't sell chicken nuggets. They sell whale nuggets. They don't let me hate it, please. They're delicious. And instead of dipping them in ketchup, they dip them in maple syrup. Yeah. You're. Oh my god. You get me kidding. <laughs> <laughs> See, I never like chicken nuggets and ketchup. It's gotta be chicken nuggets and barbecue sauce. Just saying. You're. Yeah, you can buy a 50 pack of um, McDonald's nuggets in America. Uh, I thought it was only yeah. 20. No, there's a 50. There's a 50 piece nugget and it's like $10 and. What the fuck? Not where I am. The, one, the McDonald's over at my house, they were having a thing that if you could eat. Off. If you could eat a whole 50 piece McNugget, they would give you free uh, food for like two months. What the fuck? And that's <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I can barely eat 20 nuggets. Wait, 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 wait. And they're trying to promote weight loss? Where does it go? Um, ha okay. Um, a certain, like, 10% of it goes to the charity, and then 50% goes to the restaurant that actually has the, the, the bucket, and then I think, like, uh, 20% goes to the, the company McDonald's, and then the other percent, whatever's left over, goes back into, uh, back into buying things for that restaurant. Okay, that was a conversation about Pokemon. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> hey, I'm wondering. McDonald's is, McDonald's is awesome. It's a great topic, okay? <laughs> yeah, it is a good topic of killing people. Yeah, McDonald's is thing of, like, promoting diets, though, is try our new salads that nobody ever buys. Dude, the salad had more calories than a sandwich. Do you know that, right? You're fucking joking. <laughs> I'm not joking around. I'm not even fucking joking around about that. No, it doesn't. I swear it does. Google it. I, be, I, I bet you 20 bucks. You don't have 20 bucks, you only have seal fat. I have, I have, I have 20 Canadian bucks in my PayPal. That's like, well that's like 70 fucking dollars in America as poor as we are. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh. Idiots, and they're eating tea, sipping. Murder, she wrote, watching. I 
got a question. Sheep fucking. Sheep Nora's yeah. got a question. Shut up, Pika. Alright, uh, yeah, you know how you're talking about McDonald's? Well, hamburgers are made from, like, cows, and the only cow I can think about in Pokemon is milk tank. Exactly, that, that's another thing about Pokemon. Yeah. What do they eat? Do they eat milk tank? When they're like, oh, look at this hamburger. Just stop and think, did that hamburger come from a milk tank? Uh, yeah. no, don't you know that the hamburgers in the Pokemon world are made from Tauros, the milk is taken from Miltank, and and the turkeys are from Farfetch. I thought the turkeys were, uh, were, well, no, because Unifescent's a pheasant. Exactly. Farfetch is the closest thing to a turkey they have. No, I By virtue Unifest of its sucking. closest thing to a turkey they have, even though he's a pheasant. Farfetch well, sucks Farfetch more, it'll be misled. <laughs> but he'll be missed less because he sucks. Don't tell Yuki that. <laughs> <laughs> Yuki. Wait, what? I wasn't paying attention. Farfetch so, sucks. We'll be mi we'll be Farfetch will be missed the less because it sucks. Because yeah. it's but shitty compared to Uncousin. <laughs> oh, are you gonna cry, you little bitch? It needs an evolution and it needs a stat hike. No, well, when, usually when you get into evolution, Silver, you get a stat hike. No, I mean, even before the evolution, it needs better stats. I can't remember. Somebody drew a concept of a farfetch evolution. It was pretty cool looking, actually. And it was, like, ridiculous or something. I can't remember how it was spelled. You're going to get through the terror, right? Shut up, Peter. And it, it, it was actually a really good concept of a uh, Farfetch evolution. I'm like, somebody mail this to Game Freak. <laughs> I still want to know why Ola Mola, or whatever the fuck its name is, because barely anybody can pronounce the bitch. Why isn't it a love disc evolution? Thank you. Because no one gives a crap about love disc. Aloha Mola, I think it is the name of it. How can you make a Pokemon that looks exactly like another Pokemon and say, yeah, this isn't an evolution? Ghastly and Cloyster? What? What? <laughs> it all look like a ghastly inside of a shell. Oh man, I I am looking at the video Xenon posted and in the comments he's talking about how everyone wants this game. And he's asking if it's gonna be a prequel or a sequel. Everyone's just like, me what? Okay, okay, let me show you the baddest Fucking wannabe evolution of a Farfetch ever. This is the only way Farfetch could get good. This is gonna be the picture <laughs> for this video. What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, wait, what? What? Wait, wait, wait. What is this? Super Saiyan Farfetch Four? <laughs> Look at this thing! That head looks like a fucking Super Saiyan! But no, in all reality, I would accept this as a far-fetched evolution. This is Zorark with far-fetched concept. I know, that's what I said. The only way you can make far-fetched better is by evolving it into a Zorark. <laughs> <laughs> what the but that, though, I would accept that one as an evolution. This is the one I just posted. No, I don't want it to stand. Swag. Yeah, yeah, seriously. It's not a bird. I want a bird. Well, all evolutions of Farfetch'd have that, uh... Not the one I'm talking about. I wish I could remember what it was called so I could go Remember faster, faggot. Somebody has a picture on Google. It's Farfetch'd, evolves into Dudo, and then Dotria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Xenon, Xenon, Xenon. He's a big YouTuber, but he's kind of an idiot on this one. Mind. But anyways, who the fuck is Xenon? Xenon 3120? Never heard of him. A, yeah, uh, people not like Farfetch'd, though. I don't... He's a partner who does Pokemon videos. 
as well as uh, okay, gameplay. Half of the he was also part of the uh, Pokemon Federation from YouTube. He was no, one of their champions. Right. He was one uh, of the champions that was, there. That, that was awesome. Yeah, that was. was it? it was, it was like basic. Go on, Yuki. I'll let you explain it. It was like, okay, they had a champion for each type of battling, like UU, OU, and they took challengers, and it was like, it was kind of like a wrestling federation kind of set up, where like, the challenger, you know, challenged them for the title and stuff. It was pretty cool. And the battlers they had were really good battlers, too. Yeah, like, so Sho Shofu had some fucking video the other day, where one of, well, a couple weeks ago, where one of him and his friends, like, made a team. And he was basically saying anybody who thought they could beat the team could challenge him over Skype, and if they beat the team, they'd be able to, he'd upload it to YouTube. Which, like, that's so fucking cocky, because knowing Shofu, it was probably just some standard OU stuff. Dude, don't hate on Shofu. Shofu. I, I don't hate on Shofu, it's just, I don't like some of the stuff Shofu does. If you're gonna hate someone, you hate Wild Chase, I hate Wild Chase, that's been the thing. I hate Wild Chase, too. That is a really known good. fact, but here's a question. Who doesn't hate Wild Chase? Wild Chase yeah, is talking about himself. I'm going to get a lot of flack for saying this, but I cannot stand Hayden's videos. Hayden, okay, I'll, I'll give, I'll, I'll back you up on that. Hayden's funny if you watch, like, two of his videos, but everything after that, it just becomes repetitive and boring. Right. I don't... The first two videos I watched this, I'm like, this guy's pretty funny, but then he just... It's just more like he tries to get as many cuss words into, you know, a video as possible. Yeah. yeah. I have yeah. nothing against Wild Chase or Hey Dune or any of them, but I don't watch them, so I kind of have no right to make no, a comment. See, Wild Chase, as much as everybody hates him, at least he doesn't pretend like nobody does. He knows everybody hates him. He encourages people hating him. If you ask Wild Chase, Wild Chase, where's your fans? I don't have fans. I only have haters. <laughs> I'll give him that. The main reason I wouldn't hate him is like one thing that he said. It was when everybody was dogging on OU, saying that OU was the same thing over and over again. They don't understand how anybody could like playing OU. Wild Chase was the only one that came out and actually gave a logical reason on why he likes pure OU. And it was because basically every time you face OU, yes, you were basically just facing the same team over and over again. But it's like a game of chess because 75% of the time you're going to be facing your exact team and you have to know your team better than the other person to be able to win. That is true. I, rem I remember you saying that and I agreed with that. Yeah, but at the same time, Pokemon's not supposed to be like that. Pokemon's supposed to be like, you, you just, in my opinion, Pokemon, the idea behind Pokemon is more of, it, you, you show your own individual style, and having the same team as everybody else, that's not really your own style, that's... Well, you gotta remember, Yuki, no matter what game you have, there's gonna be people that play it to win, and those people are gonna use the strong things. Right. That, yeah. Not everybody does play Pokemon. Like, when I play OU, I don't play to win. I play to have fun because it's somewhat fun every now and then, but I wouldn't play OU every day. Yeah. I used to remember the days when Pokemon was just for fun and never was competitive, but... Yeah, Pokemon would be incompetitive. Yeah, as soon as I was introduced. As soon as I was introduced. All these people on YouTube that uh, make these videos, that's what they that's the only thing they play Pokemon for anymore. Is the Wi Fi battles. They don't remember the days of the giant balloon cable. I do. That's why I never battled competitively because I never had a game, uh, link cable. I always had link cable and my name was always played. I had more fun, you know. If I ba if I battled like five times competitively between first and and third gen, it was a lot. Just to give you an idea. Yeah, no, it wasn't competitive when me and him did, it was just for fun. Like, about, uh, what's the thing? Uh, like, I, I don't get pissed
pissed if I lose in Pokemon if it was a good match. Now, I will get pissed if it was just hacks all around and I got like 5 of That's the only way I get pissed at losing, is if it was just like a complete bullshit what lose. Yeah. Like, if I went into the match, I had the advantage. From just looking at their team, I had the advantage and I've been able to counter everything they did and they just got shit tons of hacks all around, then yes, I would be pissed. Metronome I'm getting Volt Tackle. Nowadays, think a game's not good unless it has graphics. Uh, they judge based on graphics alone. 
Yeah, and like you gotta think back then, those graphics were the shit. Yeah. They were really the shit. <laughs> fucking Moltres yeah. looked like Don't a fucking... Like, yeah. Like, Moltres looked like a fucking choked chicken. Nobody gave a fuck, though. Moltres is a choked chicken. Even today, it sucks. You watch that cartoon. Let's get it right. Yeah. It's not anime anymore. It is. I wish I could go along. Technically, it is, but most people prefer calling it cartoon. Because it really acts like a cartoon. Like anime, you need some sort of conflict and violence. I think first gen. Uh, well, I think first season of Pokemon what could be labeled an anime. First season. Everything after uh, that. Yeah. Everything after that was pretty much for uh, to sell the video games. Like, that's the only reason. Uh, no, I'd say happened. after season three on, it became just to sell the video games. Orange Islands was actually, unique. Actually, Johto region, it's been proven and said by Nintendo, the only reason Johto Adventures and the whole Johto thing in the cartoon started was to advertise gold and silver and crystal. That's the only reason they did that. Mm hmm. Master Quest. Wait, was Master Quest Johto or Hoenn? I think it was Hoenn. No, Master Quest was Johto. Advanced, Advanced Battle, and Advanced Challenge, and then Battle Frontier were all Hoenn. Actually, no. Battle Frontier was Kanto, but still. Yeah. But you know what I meant, it was still 3rd gen. But it was Kanto. It was placed in Kanto, but it was the 3rd gen yeah. season. Did I sit? Fuck you! Hey, Mia, you sober? When have I not hated you, you little bitch? <laughs> so much hate. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Bumble. Oh, God. Alright, Bumble, you're gonna have to stop doing that. You're doing a damn good job of it. Keep up the oh, yeah, keep up the hard work. I'm gonna play uh, Careless Whisper as my final fuck you to the world. <laughs> <laughs> I think you two have the gap. Oh man. You know what? Here's something. Who's who's gonna? Okay. What's gonna be the song everyone has played at their funeral? Okay. That's kind of a morbid question to ask, isn't it? <laughs> what? What kind of... Have you ever heard of that? No. Why can I see Yuki's being like the family guy song, Son of the No, 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 no. No, no, I know what Yuki's song will be. Gay boyfriend, gay boyfriend. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You're horrible.
faking your own death. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> but it's for comedy relief. Comedy relief. Because people the faces on so many people when that casket just like opens up. I stand up and I'm ducking. <laughs> That is a good point, they'll give you that. Oh god. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Everyone would go blind from seeing all that fat hairiness. <laughs> I just figured out what my song's going to be, actually. What? Macarena. <laughs> I'll get up out, I'll get up, yeah, I'll get up out of my casket in my suit and start doing the Macarena. <laughs> One time only performance. Like, and I've told so many people this, so, like, I really want to have the doggy plate at, like, my funeral. That way, like, they look at the casket to see if I can <laughs> start dancing. <laughs> <laughs> God, God. I don't think Yuki ever answered the question. Yuki's BRB. Oh. I'll be Rick Rick Ashby. Oh, God. Pika. Yeah. Are you watching Raw tonight? Yeah. Of course. You're going to be on Skype when you watch it or no? Sure, because VC's still on, yeah. Look at that, I created a new one. No, because it's boring watching Raw alone. I'm pretty sure you're going to have a lot to say about Rock. Oh, yeah. And Yuki just scratch. left the call. You scratch your major itch. So enjoy your foodie pebbles. You yabba dabba bitch. You yabba dabba bitch. <laughs> You're still working out with your son. Oh, <laughs> God. We could talk about that all night, but Yuki left. This discussion has gone to the shitter. So, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Definitely not going to lie. We'll do another one in the future. For PCN, I am Silver. Peace out, bitches. Wait, wait, and I'm Pico. Take care and spike your hair. Woo, woo, woo. You know it. And yeah. Just the fuck up, fag. You know Zack Ryder. <laughs>